Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share our top 10 favorite and most played with Love Every toys. This was actually one of your guys' ideas. Someone commented that I should share our most played with Love Every toys because we've had most of the play kits, but now having two kids, I just do less toy rotations and bring out less things. So some of them just didn't get played with as much. I think all of the Love Every products are amazing, but I wanted to share like our top 10, if I had to narrow it down, that have lasted us between two kids. I currently have an almost four year old and an almost one year old son. So these are items that have been through both of my kids most likely or that we have loved just with my oldest. My baby's not quite there yet. But these are our top 10 favorites. All right, number one is this spinning drum. I don't really remember what kits any of these are in, so I'm not going to mention that, but you guys will have to just look up each kit. But this, I believe, comes in like one of the younger months, maybe like four or five or six months. But my both of my boys have loved this when they were at the age where they were in between like laying down, doing tummy time and sitting up. So between the ages of like four and eight months, they really liked this. And even now when I get it out, my older son will look at it at the shelf and reach for it, as well as other kids that come into our home that are way beyond the baby years. It makes a really pleasing sound, so they love to just sit there and spin it. And we have played color matching activities where we will like spin the wheel and try to find something of that color. So there's ways to repurpose this for older kids as well. Number two is this ball drop box. This toy actually doesn't come in any of the Love Every kits. It comes from one of the Target collection. So in the kits, there is a ball slide drop box as well as a regular object permanence box. And this one honestly is my favorite out of all of those three. If you can only get one, I love this one. It's way more compact than the other one, so it's easier to store. And then you can use it similar to an object permanence box by just leaving the little door open so they can still see the ball and then close it. This has been my baby's all time favorite, my current baby. We didn't have this when my oldest was a baby, so I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure he would have loved it too. It just adds one more layer of difficulty with having to open the little door. And again, even now, older kids really love this toy because every time I organize or clean the shelf, I always find like random things sitting in here that my older son has put in here. So he uses it like a treasure box still and still also enjoys this. Number three is this fuzzy bug shrub. This also has an easy open and close. My Current one-year-old really loves this again right now. Anything that opens and closes, he is super into. But in here are all of these little bugs and they have a sort of like Velcro on the back to stick on. So right now I usually present this like this and then he will go over and pull all of them off and loves to put them inside. Sometimes he will just sit there and open and close the lid and pull the bugs out and in. So this one always keeps him occupied right now and my older son loved this too. This is one that we used to throw in our diaper bag or bring if we were going out to eat or something because it's pretty small and easy to carry but is lots of entertainment for a one year old. Number three is this coin box. This is the older version. They have a newer version now, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly the same thing. I was actually thinking about ordering the newer kit that has this age range, like the one-year-old age range, because they have some new things since release that I want to try out. So this is the older style coin box, just in case there's any differences, but the bottom just comes off magnetically and it comes with wooden coins. Again, both of my boys love this. My baby is just getting into this now. It's a little bit difficult for him still. On my older son, I remember loving this all the time. And he also used these coins as money if he was playing pretend or just carrying them around the house and counting them. So these coins offered lots of play separately in the box as well. And then we've also used to put tiny little pom-poms, I remember, in this hole on the bottom. If you flip it over and create like a different type of posting box with that. I couldn't do that right now until my baby gets a little bit bigger because he would try to eat anything that small, but my older son liked to do that when he was an older toddler that wasn't putting things in his mouth as much anymore. Number five is this ball drop, ball run thing. This is probably the most popular item I love every. I'm kind of just speculating there, but I think everybody that has these play kits loves this item. I think it's our favorite out of all of them, so if you can only buy one little every product, we love this. It's so much fun and just so simple, but just perfect. A lot of ball run type toys just aren't very cute for your house, which maybe you don't care about, but I really appreciate that this one is just really nice to look at as well. And it comes with 
I think two balls. I'm not sure if these are the ones that it came with, but these are the ones that I have in here right now. And it adds a layer of difficulty because the ball doesn't just go right down. You have to put it in and then push it down. And then each side has a different way to open. So this one has a little door. This one has a drop down door. This one is a material thing to reach into. And then this one opens upwards. My baby loves this. He's loved this since he could sit up pretty much. And again, my older son still will reach for this sometimes. So this is on our shelf a lot between the ages of like six months until I guess four because it's really been on and off this whole entire time. Number six are these felt flowers. They come as a set of five with this little stand. Our cat has since chewed one of these up. They are mostly just felt and she loves felt toys. So one morning we woke up and she had just shredded one over our house and it was not salvageable. So all right now we have four, but these ones were something that didn't even really catch my eye when I first saw them on the site. I wasn't sure how my son would take to them, but when we got them when my older son was a toddler, he loved these, he loved carrying them around and making them okay. We used them as magic flower wands a lot, which he thought was so funny, and he loved just like lining them back up in their base. So I know these look really simple, but they are definitely one of our most played with toys here. Here is the one that shredded one of those. Number seven is this stacker ring toy. So it's sort of just like a simple stacker, but it comes apart. So it has this tube and the base, these three different rings, and then a ball to put in the middle. And we've had lots of different stacking toys, but this one has been our favorite stacking toy that we've ever had. Again, anything that combines different complexities so that different age groups can enjoy it. Our toys are really well loved around here just because we have different age groups. So anything that I can use to benefit different ages of kids at the same time is something that I'll always reach for to pull out. So younger babies can just put the ball in and out. My son, when he was younger, loved to just build this over and over again. He wasn't much of a kid that would repeat play, like do the same thing over and over again, but this thing he would. He would sit there and you know, take it all apart and then rebuild it together. My current baby is just getting into this and also loves to help put it together and put the ball in and out and stack up the rings. This tube has also been used for lots of things. It's quite often like a pirate telescope. And I don't even know what else my oldest uses this for because he is very imaginative and uses things for lots of different ways. But I always find this around the house when I have this on my baby's shelf. So he's always using this for some purpose. Number eight is this pegboard. This is another pretty simple stacking toy with this little base and then all of these pieces can stack up. So again, this has just been played with so much. What my kids think is really funny about it is when the tower gets really tall, it can tip without falling like this. So of course they think that's pretty funny. I like this one because it eases some frustration for kids that really want to stack and love stacking because it's pretty easy to get them to line up and you can build straight up pretty tall without it tipping over because there's the notch at the bottom. So it's great for little ones who are just starting to like stacking but aren't quite skilled enough to stack without it just immediately falling. So it eases frustration there. And it's a great fine motor skill for younger babies and early toddlers like my just turned one year old really like eyes this and notices how they fit into each other. So he's loving that aspect of it. But yeah, another favorite. Okay, all of those toys are pretty much older ones that we've had for a very long time through both of my boys. The next two items are new releases. So we don't have as much experience with them, but I know they'll be favorites around here too. The first one is this bell set. This is from the new Love Every Music set, which we absolutely adore. It has not left our shelf for the couple weeks that we've had it and all of the kids that come here love playing with it as well. But our favorite from that whole set are these pat bells. They are just so beautiful and just sound so nice when you play them together in any order. It's never annoying to listen to. It's always just nice and pleasing to hear any sort of song the kids come up with. My baby loves taking these on and off and just lining them up as well as playing with them individually. And I love that you can just take one off to carry it around if they wanna just hear one sound at a time. But I don't know, we, I've just been loving these little music bells. 
And our last favorite is this alphabet game. So this toy right here I said was our all-time favorite and that's true for probably like zero to two. But this new item is in the new four-year-old play kits and I am obsessed and my son loves this too. I think this is just perfectly thought out and is just amazing. So it has this tray of a movable alphabet and then all of these little pieces and letter cards to make a letter game. So all of these small parts are in here that match up with different words that you can spell. Here is what the cards look like. There are some with the letters printed and some without. My son loves this game. He's pretty confident now at stringing three letter words together because of this game. This really helps something click for him with understanding that. He loves all of these little pieces. I actually tried to make a language box with different little pieces to match to different letter sounds, but it was really annoying because I would take little pieces from other games and then I, when I would go to use get that game or activity out, would be missing pieces that I had taken to make that language box. So I dismantled that and put everything back and I'm so happy that this can just stay together with all of these little manipulatives that don't go with anything else. And even if you don't use the game part of it, even this just to spell other words is just amazing and I love it. So this is my current favorite Glove Every item out of any of them that we own. It's got a permanent spot right now up on one of our high shelves. We have lots of different language learning tools up there and this has stayed out the whole time. That is everything I have to share. Those are our 10 most play with Love Every toys. I hope that was helpful for you guys if you were looking and just wanted to see which toys were maybe the most worth it. If you could only get a couple or were looking to piece kits together used or something, but I would stand behind all of the ones that I just mentioned because they are for sure loved around here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in a next video. Bye guys.